you go. It doesn't get any better than that. Check that out. Lovely fish fingers and heads. It's a little bit chunk from the game. Found in the place it's so busy. See, we have perfect canned food on a cold winter's night. Sausage ramen doesn't get any better than that, does it? Muck a two pies, muck a two. Rubber's just down here. Look, the car's all packed. You got everything in here tent, bed, food, camera gear. Look at it all. Women's stuff everywhere. Right, we're nearly there, guys. We're nearly at the old camping spot here at Makatu, Bladazo Holiday Park. Route. In 300 metres, yeah. turn right onto Bladazo Park Avenue. Okay, it's us. Go. In 800 meters, you will arrive at your destination. Woohoo! Yeah, boy! It's just over here. Pay old fees. Wow. Look at that. It's a good little spot. Nice. Pretty excited. Pretty excited, guys. Uh, we'll go in and pay our bill. And bet you guys soon as we pay our bill. Right, welcome back. What a very nice lady. That cost twenty-one dollars to come here for the night. Oh, I'd love to stay for two nights, I really would. And her husband's a fisherman. There's photos of him on the wall there catching fish uh, with uh, kingfish and snapper. And you'll see that there's, um, there's a lot of white bait out there at the moment. There's a lot of white bait. Uh, and I said to him, I saw them as I was driving down the hill, I saw some birds working. And he caught a kahua, he opened it up, and it had white bait in it just out here. So of course I let them know about my YouTube channel, showed them the video with the kingfish on the hand line. And lovely lady, I was talking to her yesterday on the phone actually. So we can park anywhere we want to around here. No freedom camping. It's a good spot actually where they are. We've got the whole place here. This is why I, I like coming camping in the winter. Apart from I, mean, I enjoy the really cold weather camping. But uh, there's nobody around. And here we are, look. Are you getting rubber? We can just go over here, look. Uh, like it's a bit wet though, it's saying as you can see. Look, it's pretty wet down there. We might go back here, I think, rubber. We'll check it out first, but. So we'll go here for a flounder tonight. Oh, nearly high tide, look. Go back there. Look we'll around there, I think. Remember? It's a little jetty there, look. See if we found her in here. Right by the water. So we might have to. Yeah, there's somebody camping over there. Look. What am I 
find some trees so we can put up our tarp. And we're gonna camp right, back right here, I think. There's a seat we'll camp over here. Here, look. Wow, what a cool little place! Right, let's go and have a look. Oh, now it comes the hard part of setting everything up. Wish I can just go like that and then everything's set up. So, I'm not quite sure. We've got a bit of a wind, wind coming up from this direction over here. I'm parked over there, but. I might even move, I might even move here, look, there's a bit of a bank over here. Oh, stay. A bit of a bank, so I might even move behind this tree. Gee, that's way better here. Yeah, I might, move, I might move over here, actually. Got this tree here as a bank, so wind's, that's way better. Yeah. Wind's popped up again, so that tree is a good one. So here we are, welcome to uh, another camping video out of the camping ground so a huge big thumbs up to this camping ground for allowing dogs there you guys rock better zoo holiday park right so uh, today we're going to be using the Bicina tent I haven't used this tent here for quite a while last time I used this would have been up in the bush there when we we're doing the hunting last summer so we're going to be using this one today. This is quite a, a good sized tent. As you guys know, the first one I got leaked, had little holes in it. This one I haven't used in the rain yet. But my cousin Adrian and I, we've both got one and we really, really like this tent. It's got heaps of room in it, two person tent. It comes in at about two meters long inside. Like that's really good and, and quite wide. So heaps and heaps of room. Probably one of the biggest two-person tents that I've actually been in. It is a really good tent. Also, it comes with a ground sheet for it. So we're going to set up here. It's a good spot to set up. The wind's coming from this direction here. So we can put our tent here. And I would love to put a tarp up. I still might swing a tarp up from here, over here. I think I still will put a tarp up. I've got a 4x3 tarp. And I've also got a 3x3 camo tarp, which isn't that good, but it might be just right for this spot here. So let's get it ready, shall we? Let's get it set up. So we've got here the ground sheet. Got here the ground sheet. This ground sheet here is actually really good. It's really thin, but it's really waterproof.
so uh, so these are all aluminium as well these poles it's just one system one one pole system no it all comes together like that look magic I think it's seven mil these poles are And that is how easy it is to put this tent up. There you go. This pole here's got to go over the other pole. Makes it stand out a bit better. So this is a really good tent. Should I actually move it around? For that wind. I might actually turn it around because it's actually uh, less wind resistance but as you can see this has got a, just enough mesh and has this uh, white one here which is great for for like fall seasons you don't get any cold air coming through here at all and you've got enough mesh there for ventilation But yeah, that's it. It's easy to set up, isn't it? I'm just thinking about if I should turn this around out of the wind. There you go, I've moved it this way. It's way better. Behind that wind, I'm gonna check my weather forecast. It's way better, rubber. I don't think I could put a tarp up, but I'm quite sure with it. So you've got three clips here, you've got one from the outer, the fly, one from the tent and one from the ground sheet, you just put it all into the one pole. There she is, hey, how are you? Is this going to be finished yet? I'm not finished yet, but heaps to go yet. We're getting there, we are getting there, aren't we? We are getting there, slowly. There's our tent. How about there's our tent for the night? She's going, we're going to sleep in here tonight. That's crazy. 
Oh, yeah. Check this out. That is a really good tent. It's so roomy in here. Vent there. And the best thing about this tent here, I like about it, is you can access your vents from inside. See, it'll zip in here. Access your vents. A lot of tents don't have that. See, lovely ventilation. But see, it's a really good tent. Got heaps of mesh, and I do like this because nothing's worse than having mesh down the bottom. And you get wind that comes up from under your, your fly and just whizzes inside like that. That blocks all that wind up. And that is the reason why we got this tent. Because there's heaps of room in it, see? Heaps of room. I'm sitting in the middle and we've got heaps of room in here. I'm going to lie down later on and we'll show you how much room there is in this tent. I think I uh, might have showed you guys before in a the hunting video how much room you can have in this tent. It's a good two person tent. Probably one of the few two person tents that can fit two people in it. Otherwise you've got to buy a three person or a four person to fit two people in. Right, what I think I don't like about this is like how this is really flat, see that? That should be up a bit higher, it should be up like that, like a bathtub floor is supposed to be. So that's quite flat on both sides, look. As they're coming down your zipper up on it, the zipper it brings up a bit. But apart from that, it's, it sits really flat. Actually when you haven't got a chair, you can actually sit on here and it's, it's flat, but if you've got water coming in, This is my Kmart blanket here. This is a good blanket, nice and soft on the inside. Protects your floor of your tent. And also gives you a bit of insulation. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect fit. Right. Oh man, this is awesome. First time I've tried this in this tent and look at it, it fits, it fits well. It's really good. Now I've been coming. Come on then, come and say hello. Yeah bro, here she is. All right, happy? You want some wrenching. So she's pretty happy. You haven't helped at all. You haven't helped that at all with anything. You just bloody been watching me. So how's that for a nice view out our front door here? Right, eh? <laughs> Exciting. So I've got Dad's bed and I put your bed over here next to Dad. But if I lie down here, we'll show you. I lie down in here and we'll show you how much room this tent has got. So, so my head is here. Look, there's heaps of room at the back. It's about... <laughs> oh, yucks! Yucks, Baba! Yucks! Oh, someone's excited. And so you've got heaps of room in the front as well, look, for the feet. And it's so wide, it's about 1.4 metres wide. Well, I'm just guessing that, but... Heaps of room, this is awesome, eh? Well, I'm going to put our bed on now. Right, so I've left the foamy at home. Our foam mattress. Insulated mattress. But I've got my sun visor here, I'm going to put that on the ground just to a bit of insulation. And also got one here for rubber, put under her bed. It's another one as well. For Miss Snorri behind you, Miss Snorri. So I hummed and hard about which tent to take. I want to take my I want to take my Coleman bunk with me and sleep on the bunk rather than on the ground. I prefer the bunk, but uh, that won't fit. Well, it might fit in actually fit in this tent. Might fit in here. Just gotta be patient, bro. Just wait. Gotta wait. 
So yeah, I wish I put that foam me. Just gives you another little bit of insulation, bit of foam. But I've got that there, plus I've got my Kmart mattress as well. got a really warm sleeping bag and I've got a blanket as well this ground's actually a bit wet this ground ground sheet what I call the footprint we'll keep the moisture up out of the ground and I think we should be nice and cozy tonight even in this wind I've got my stuff far around. Way too much stuff, but I might need it. And here's Rubber's bed. Rubber, there you are. Here, try your bed out. Here you go. Up in your bed, try that out. Well, what do you reckon? What do you reckon about that? Oi, what do you reckon? You like that? <laughs> hey? Okay. The echo flows here, we not, might need it tonight, but we might, okay, so we back in here. first, uh, have a coffee and have a think about what we're going to do next. Um, Robert wants to drink of water, I think. You thirsty? So, your coffee. Finally, sitting down. Finally. guys behind us in that camper van is it's pretty quiet. Come summertime here this place will be packed as To have a tarp up actually. It'd be handy having a tarp, but good. Mm. Mm. So yeah, finally got the tent up. Way happier. Oh, it's coming 
then and I really would love to go for a bit of a fish you might have a coffee you might have a bit of a fish I think a bit of a quick cast over there and we can keep an eye on our tent we're over there but coffee first So, while we're waiting for the our water to boil, we'll try Rubber's jumper out from Kmart. Rubber, come here, Gil. Rubber, come here. Try this out. You reckon? See you right? Yeah, that's for you, bro. Let's see if she likes it. Oh, it fits your skinny body perfect, brother. Oh, breathe in. There you go. There you are. Alright. Give it a sec. Check for this. What do you guys reckon? Check this out. Yeah, keep it nice and warm, eh, my bro? Yeah, bro. Oh, what's that, what's that for? Oh, it's a tag. Oh, there you go. That one too, sleep. Oh, there you are. What do you reckon? Looks good, eh? Yeah, that could keep you warm. Yeah, bro. I think she likes it, like your tail's wagging. You like that? Fits you perfectly. Nice. Nice rubber. Yeah, bro. It'll keep you warm, eh? Especially when we do some camping videos and stuff. Alright, you can thank your patrons for that. The patrons bought you that today. Thank you, patrons, for buying rubber who nice little warm jumper. Keep your little body warm, eh? Yeah, bro. I don't think I'm going to put the tarp up today. I'm not going to have no tarp. I'm just going to keep it simple like that tent. Easy as. I like to have a tarp up though, so it just really just keeps that condensation off you. So we might think about it. We'll see what happens when that wind dies away. It suits you. That looks good. I like that. What do you reckon? Suits her, eh? Watch out for the water. Yeah, that suits you, that jacket. It'll keep you warm for our adventures, eh? Yeah, that'll keep you nice and warm. Day. I actually think that wind's died down a little bit.
think it must be pretty much full tide but now we've got to get some pippies over there I'm just going to have a bit of a cast see if we get any kahawai out there or something like that What an awesome day today, so nice out here, it is beautiful today, a good day to come camping and fishing in the one area, doesn't get any better than that does it? There we go, I've just got a bit of anchovy on here and yeah, I'm going to use a sand sinker First time fishing here There we go. So this is where I'm fishing. I'm fishing here. And if I turn the camera around, you'll see where I'm camping, just over there. Check this out. We're fishing here, and then we're camping just over there. Right there with the edge cover. Hey, Robert, wait. Yeah. The jumper looks good. Some guy um, behind us, he's watching me what I'm doing, watching me filming this vlog.
Rubber, it might be cold tonight. Well, that bait's gone, so I'm just putting another piece of bait on. Be heaps of crabs out there, I reckon. Heaps of crabs. So we might have this last cast, and we might just try a bit later on. We'll hang around here and have some kai, maybe, and um, get ready for our nighttime adventure. And just after nine is uh, low tide, so we'll get the waders on. We'll go for a bit of a flounder mission tonight. It looks quite nice. Looks really like a good spot for flounder. Low tide, be perfect. Right, so Rob and I just uh, have a bit of a walk around. We can have some kai now because it's Rubber's kai time and she's hungry at five o'clock. So it's definitely starting to cool down a bit now. We head back to our tent. Rubber's cool jacket. Hey Rubber, nice and warm, hey bro? Keeps you warm. Back at Camp X-Ray, here we go. I'm gonna try and put this tarp up now. Somewhere, I'm gonna get the tarp out, we're gonna set it up um, over my tent a bit. Maybe over here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I just set the old tarp up. My three by three camo tarp is a bit, it's a bit of a crap one, but it should last tonight. It's a bit crap, so it's all ripped here. But um, it should give us a bit of a bit of the old condensation off us during the night. Yeah. yeah. Seems like this tent looks a bit a bit out. This tent. Oh. There you go. There it is. Okay. I know you're hungry. Uh, we're going to get my kai out. We've got some sausages here. I'm going to have this with a the ramen. These are beehive chipolata sausages. Chipolata. What are they? Yeah, chipolata sausages. There you go. And it's going to be our Kai tonight, I'm going to cook them on the gas stove and we're going to have them with our ramen for Kai tonight. Beautiful Kai tonight. So we'll leave those out and uh, let's rub his Kai here. Yeah, brother, that's for you. You've got a spoon. I've got a spoon now. I'll do it. That's the hardest things with camping, is you can't find where you put things. Spoon. Spoon. Not much. 
Oh look, that was Depper, eh? Your rubber's kite there. Here we go. Rubber's kite. Here you go. You can over here, eh? Here's your kite. Here you are. Right. Yeah, but yeah. Nice. Right. Happy now. Got the water heating up. And we're gonna put our couple of eggs in there. Put that on there. Okay. There you go. There you go. Up in your bed. Right. Yeah. yeah, so we've got noodles, ramen, which are in here. So I'm using, uh, I'm using these ramen noodles here. We're going to throw the noodles away. So here's our noodles here, we've got these from, got these noodles here from Countdown, ramen noodles. And these ones here, eggs. You hear the seagulls making the racket over there. Yeah. I'm using these sachets out of our ramen noodles. Three sachets. Hello my rubber, how are you? Alright? Alright? <laughs> you don't want to come out here and muck around out here, you on your bed alright dear? Alright? Okay, I'll be out here, right? If you need me, I might give you a sausage. Oops, going away. So these are our sachets here we're going to use, seasoning. We've got some black garlic there. And some seasonings there. Roman noodles here, which we're going to have. Yum. Right, so there you go. Our oil looks, oil looks pretty warm. All right. So we'll stick our sausages in. Delicious. Yum. Getting hungry now. What's the time? Must be about half past five. 
Those are actually ready. Oh, look who's just come out of the out of the bed. Hello, be up to. <laughs> Could you smell those sausages, bro? Hey, you're still hungry. Yo, she get the camera out of my face. Hey, did. Hey, here she is. <laughs> I had that taste test, and who come out? Who just come out? I thought you were asleep. Hey, look. <laughs> My little camping friend here. I think she wants a sausage. Hey, do you want a sausage? Hey, oh. <laughs> oh, she's so funny. She is so funny, aren't you? Hey, oh, my darling, it's yeah, a bit windy now. Oh. Okay, right. she wants a sausage. I'm going to take those off because they are cooked and we're going to put our water back on we'll cook up our noodles take off put that over there put that back up here take the eggs out oh, I think that should be eggs that would be perfect Perfect leaves. There we go. I'm just going to boil our water up. Then we're going to add our, we had both of these ramen noodles. Here they are. You guys are wondering what brand they are. Ramen Countdown. Yum. There we go. If that wind keeps up, we have to pull this tarp down and we just sleep in the tent. It's going to get bad. Right. Yeah, that, that wind's no good for floundering either. Can't see the water. Whoa, heck. Back swing. Suction cup from this side. Suction cup here. It came off the car. A bit of wind popped it up. Yeah, normally they last pretty, normally they are quite good those suction cups I've had them on the uh, couple of rain camps the old suction cups and they normally do, do a good job in heavy wind and rain crazy stuff crazy Too cold out here for the gas, is it? How slow it is! It's a new, it's a new bottle. Oh, what's going on? So we sorted that out. The problem is that this gas canister is a bit cold, and I actually had to warm it up, and now it's boiling. Look, now I'll show you the gas. Look, heaps of gas now. I didn't bring the colander because uh, Aaron's using it tonight, so I'm just going to drain this with the lid. But you're better off having like a colander, get all that liquid out. Well, not really, because you're going to add liquid to it later. But I'm just going to drain that. 
I'll speak to you guys soon. There's the noodles. Stuck on it. Lid on here. That's a little bit of water for our soup. There we go, remember, is that enough soup? Is that enough for our liquid? Sausage ramen, it doesn't get any better than that, does it? Yum. Now I've had a lunch in sausage ramen before, but never a sausage one. I wonder if they have those in Japan, sausage ramen, I don't reckon. Well they might do. If you Japanese people watch my videos, do you have sausage in your ramen? Sausage and egg. Just like that. Mm. Yum. Get hungry. It's so dark out there now. Nice and dark. Check that out. Dark as. Had to give the old gas cylinder a bit of a hug. Get it warm because when uh, the gas was going out again. goes on last. Add our liquid on there. Oh yeah. Doesn't that look good? Mm, check that out. Mm. Is it in the way that light? That looks better. Here we go. We're going to add a little sachet here of goodies, dried stuff. I think this is, I think it's fried onion, that one. And now we're going to add some sausage on there. And we'll give rubber one. Here we go, sausage. I have to change the battery in this camera here. That sucked. Really sucked. So, got some egg here. I'm going to have to shove it over here. Bit of egg. And the coins nearly ready. Oh, it's a bit overcooked, but doesn't matter. That's what happens when you're. That should be a bit runny, but it's been sitting in the pot. But the saw is awesome camp food. And there we go. There we have it. We have finished cooking our kai. I present to you uh, my version of ramen, sausage ramen here. And cheers, everybody. It's going to taste very nice. I'm looking forward to giving a feed of this before we go floundering in a little bit in my nice new ramen bowl which is a perfect bowl for ramen move this out of the way and there we go there we have perfect camp food on a cold winter's night sausage ramen it doesn't get any better than that does it There you go, there's our tasty kai tonight. Let's check those noodles out. Oh yeah, look at those. Now those are better than the ones you get out of the packet. You guys try that. Took those other noodles away, put them in the bin, and grab some of these tasty ramen noodles. Look, 
these are so tasty it's a bit of a taste test shall we it doesn't get any better than that so cheers everybody and i hope you enjoyed this kai tonight and our little video we're making here camping video first one for winter Yum, that is so nice. Mm. Now that is a very, very tasty kai indeed. On a cold winter's not actually going a bit warm. Oh, there's a sausage there. Mmm. Yum. Yummy noodles. Right, so I thought I'd head out. The current's quite strong here. I thought I'd head out. There's another guy behind me, but he's a bit quick behind me. Yeah, that's quite. I thought I'd just head out for a quick little look around in the water. It's quite windy now. I mean, I don't know this place was so busy. Pretty busy place around here for family. Alright. So, I'll turn the camera around, you guys can have a look. So it's moving quite fast and Chances of getting the found in the place that's so busy. What do you reckon? It'd be nice to get one. Ah, lovely winter's night. Let's hope that wind stays away. It'll be good. I think I might lower this tarp, this front end, to lower it down halfway. And uh, but it's pretty good at the moment. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to pick my rods up. And I'm going to put them in the car. In my waders, lock the car up. Well, we're having a cup of tea, and then we can get in the tent and relax with rubber. It's not a good idea. Isn't she cute? Should be nice and warm anyway with her, her new jumper on.
person's gone to the toilet. It's starting to get really cold now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to bed soon and relax. And be that front here with me. Come up the front. Here you go. Come up in the bed there. Oh, look at your jumpers, nice and warm. That'll keep you nice and warm, eh? That'll keep you nice and warm, that jumper. Hello, everyone. Rub it's cold. We're really cold, aren't we? So we're going to go to bed soon. I'm going to go to bed. You're next to Dad now, eh? Hey? Oh, he's my Danny, eh? Hey? Oh, yes. So he is. Got the old light in her eyes. And my eyes, too. Hey? So we're going to go to bed now, Rubber and I. I'm going to watch a bit of YouTube stuff and have a cuddle with my rubber. And um, should we say goodbye to everybody and we'll see you in the morning? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a cold night, but we're going to be nice and warm, aren't we? We're going to be nice and warm in our bed. Good night, everyone. See you in the morning, everyone. Good night. <laughs> hey. Good night, everyone. All right. So we'll see you guys. Uh, where are you? We'll see you guys in the morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. How was your, how was, oh where are you dear, how was your sleep, you were, you were nice and cosy under your blanket, <laughs> I had a pretty good sleep on and off, yeah day. yes she is, good morning Baba. Oh, how was your sleep, did you have a good sleep? Good morning. Hey. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Mm. <laughs> we had a good sleep, eh? Hey? You a good sleep? Oh, you a good sleep. I was pretty warm. I was wrapped up in my blankies. Look, I got two blankets. I was so warm. Come on, this way. Come on, over here. Come on, here. This way. Oh, over here. Oh, here we are. Ready. Oh. Oh yeah, that's better. That's better, eh? You know? Oh yucks. <laughs> yucks, you know. Oh you we really love camping, eh? Yeah, love camping. Good morning everybody. Oh yeah, we're nice and warm. <sighs> I only woke up I woke up a few times actually. Wake up a few times because of the wind. A bit windy out there. You didn't hear it, did you? You were asleep. You were snoring like a little baby. Yes, you were. You were snoring like a little baby. You were nice and warm. Oh, yeah, you were nice and warm. Yep, yeah. 10 past 7, so we can lie for another another, another hour or so. Eh? Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, my lover. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, oh, nice and warm in the jumper, aren't you? Mm. Oh, you know. <laughs> Well, it's good to have rubber on our, in our camping trips, isn't it? So, top marks to this camping ground for having, allowing dogs, eh, rubber? 
You got cold ears. Oh, your ears are freezing. So top marks, 10 out of 10 for this camping ground for allowing dogs. Not many camping grounds allow dogs. So here we go. We're going to come back here again. Another adventure here, I reckon, rubber. Oh, your ears are freezing. Your ears are freezing, rubber. <laughs> We'll get up when the sun comes up and we might get some shots of the sun coming up. There she is. Oh, here we go. Good morning. The sun is up. On another glorious winter day here in the Bay of Plenty. Oh, that. Wow, look at that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful morning. Rubber's there. Got any water on your drink, Rubber? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Wow, it's a beautiful day. Those guys are out there doing their net. Let's go have a look, shall we? We're a bit of a walk, Rubber. I need to get the leash. Need a leash here, so. We'll get the leash out. We'll go have a look. Here we go. Right, let's go have a look, shall we? Right. So the tide's starting to go out now. Cold. Let's put a hoodie on. Oh, that's better. That's better. Oof. We're in the old Waitara pig hunting hoodies here from Jay and Corinne. Keeping you warm. Boys going there with their netting over there. So is there a tent, a camping spot? Oh, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day, eh? Hey, like a... Oh, what a beautiful morning. There's your footprints on there, on the beach. Oh, the dogs. <laughs> the dog. Right, so you've got a lot of permanent um, see a lot of caravans here, look. Permanent caravans. It's really nice here, isn't it? Oh. Isn't it nice?
That was pretty nice, isn't it? What a nice spot. There again. And here's our little setup. Check it out. There it is. I lowered this pole last night, loaded down just to try and stop some of that wind. I reckon it's pretty good so we'll raise it up a bit I'm gonna have our breakfast down here we'll grab a her breakfast and uh, yeah we can just slowly pack up could be out of here by 10 o'clock so yeah, you want your breakfast So we're going to have a coffee now. Oh, still a bit cold. Chill, you. Chill. It's your kind of breath. Ah, yeah, well. So just enough water for coffee. I bought three bottles of water. This is the last bottle, so about three bottles a night for rubber and myself. Better if it warm feet. That's way better. Oh yeah. Oh, that's better. So good morning everybody, good morning and it's a lovely day, cheers everybody, ouch, oh yeah it's better, way better, that might need a bit more coffee I think in there, I'm gonna wake you up. That's better. Cheers. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. I think that wind's dropped off. It's just stopped. It's dead calm now. It's beautiful. Wow. It's your fans. I'm talking to your fans. Watch out. Crazy dogs. You're crazy, man. You're crazy. You're gonna get, the water's hot. Watch out. Just relax. Oh man, so nice. You know, might even be time for my cap. Wait. Ta da! Transformation. That's better. Be nice staying here for two nights. Be really, really nice. I could do that another night here. Robert could do another night here. But we've got things to do and I can't stay. So we'll just stick to these one night camps at the moment. But if a good two night camp comes up, then we're in. I might paint a two night camp at this place. Use the same tent. I love this tent. It was so warm last night. And a warm mattress, that was great. Mattresses, I was warm underneath. Two big blankets, or oh, a big blanket and a big sleeping bag, and I was really warm. Hey, rubber. I've got six fish fingers and two eggs. I don't think anybody's cooked fish fingers down here before, so we could be a first for that one. Fish fingers and eggs. It should have been flounder and eggs, but <coughs> this place gets a bit of a hammering by the look of it. But it looks like a really good place, It'd be, which would hold a lot of fish, I would say, in here at times. Okay, we'll back to you guys soon, and I hope you're enjoying this video. Nearly coming to an end, our overnighter. No rain, just sunshine and nice relaxing time with rubber. Hey. Mm. I'll catch up soon. Okay. We are going to cook up some fish fingers today. Might as well cook them up because they are defrosted. So we will cook. Them. Right. Hello. You had breakfast. You had luncheon and stuff for your breakfast. This is fish fingers, bro. So we'll see how the gas bottle is today. It was a bit. I think we were too cold for this gas cylinder last night. It took ages to cook up our water. So I had to warm up the bottle and then when I put it back in here, or well the canister, I had to warm it up, I put it back in here and then it worked alright. So, but I know you guys would have wanted some fish fingers, so we're going to cook some up. Just for you guys, okay? And we can slowly pack the car up. It's 9 o'clock, so we're going to be out here by 10. Here, we've got fish fingers here somewhere. Eggs. Uh, fish fingers. Here somewhere. Yeah. Here they are, fish fingers. Oil. Healthy oil. Is. I'm going to repack the car up. Oh, 
Oh man, far out. It is a lovely day. It is so nice out here. Famous blue plate. Here we are. I don't know where the tongs are gone. Okay. Use this. Better, some tongs. Yeah, do you guys smell those from where you are? Again. Hello, rubber's just over here. Are you guys hungry? You want some fish fingers? I was talking to your fans, not you. You had your kai. <laughs> you had your kai already, bro. You had, you had lunch and rubber. Remember? You don't want any fish fingers and eggs, do you? Bad for you. So there you go, our breakfast is cooked. I haven't brought any salt and pepper, so I can't have any salt and pepper on my eggs. I love salt and pepper on my eggs, it's the best. We're gonna turn that off. As you know, food still cooks in the car frying pan for ages. We'll get that out into our famous blue plate, and there's our breakfast. It doesn't get any better than that. Perfect day for it. Right. Time for some breakfast. Check that out. No tomato sauce either. I'm not even hungry, but I'm going to eat this. I'm not hungry at all. You guys know I don't eat breakfast normally, but I am when I'm camping. And, uh, and there you go, it doesn't get any better than that. Check that out. Lovely fish fingers and eggs with no salt and pepper or tomato sauce. Just El Natural. Cheers, everybody. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, mm. oh. Mm. Not for rubber. So you just dip your fish finger in the egg and it just comes out perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yum. 
That is delicious. Nice runny egg. Even got these knife and forks and spoon from Kmart. They're really good. They were five dollars. Now they're going up to about six dollars fifty now. Knife, spoon. Other one's got a fork on it. But they're really good. Really good camping utensils. As far as the ones that fold up go. Cheers, everyone. Right, so I'm gonna finish eating our breakfast and then we're gonna slowly pack up and we've got half an hour to get out of here so it's half an hour what's the time now Ooh, half past nine so yeah out of here by ten and we'll go for a bit of a drive we might even uh, go for a cruise around make it too check it out and then we'll head back to Fakatane. Two days would be perfect here. Mm. So, let's show you guys my tarp setup. So, these are my uh, suction cups, carabiner tarp. Not the best tarp, as you can see, but it's just holding in there for this trip. Two poles, I've got two uh, suction cups. One on this side over here as well. Suction cup. And there's the back of the tent there. And then we go over here. I've just got a this cord here is just tied into onto my car. As you can see, I'm gonna have to undo it because we're gonna have to pull it down now. There's a bassinet tent, so roomy. It's a really roomy tent, that one. Kmart poles, Kmart cord, all Kmart, a little bit. This is from AliExpress, 3x3 tarp. Anyway, I'm going to have to pull it down now because we have to go, but I thought I'd show you guys our little tarp setup over our tent. I always got a I always like having a tarp over the tent, it's sort of condensation on your tent a bit and it just um, gives you a nice little area where you can do your cooking and stuff under and in the sh you know, give it a shade if you want some shade and I just really like the setup when it's hooked up to the car like that it just saves putting extra two poles up had this pole here up quite high yesterday so you can actually stand up under here without bending over and getting the saw back so pretty happy about that very happy it's a really good trip but i don't want to go home i want to stay a bit longer rubber but so there you go we get in there look at my helper over there my helper's not even helping me why aren't you helping your dad with this tent bro <laughs> hey I, you just sit there and have fun and i gotta do with the mahi huh. so i've uh Pull the tent up, the tent's in here, and I'm going to hang out to dry at home. So here's the Eco Flow River Pro. I used this here last night to charge up my GoPro batteries, which I went through two and a half 
you know, three batteries in that cold weather. Pretty crazy, man, that cold, it just affects the batteries. Right, so here we are, we're all packed up, all nice and tidy, no rubbish. Rubbish is down here, we'll take that over to the, to the uh, bins over here. We're all packed up, here's that wind coming. Rubber's over there, so come rubber, maybe girl, come say goodbye to everybody. Come here girl, come say goodbye. So, on behalf of Rubber and myself, we hope you guys enjoyed our little... <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed our little camp. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? We had a lot of fun on our trip. And we look forward to having a few more with you guys. Next few weeks, months. So thank you all for watching, eh Rubber? Hope you enjoyed our video. My little star, she's way better. I'll show you guys her. Oh dear, oh dear. So that's her leg when she had a lipoma. There's this, this big scar across here and it's all closed up now. She had a hole up here, a little hole here where the tube was, but had a big lipoma, a big bit of fat tissue as big as like, like that big, quite big. That was in here, a big lump on here. So I took it out and look, the scar's healed perfectly. Hey, good enough for our camping trips, hey? Hey, rubber. Yeah, all right. right. So here we are at Mucket 2. Mucket 2 Surf Life Saving Club. Just over the hill from where we were camping. And this is Mucket 2 here. Check that out. So we were around the corner there, around the corner a bit in the next bay. And then we just over here checking this out here. Another little estuary here. A beautiful day and the towing is up this way over here. The mount, Mount Manganui. So it's not very far at all to the mount. Soon. Look at two pies, eh? Right. We've got ourselves a pie, Rubber can smell it. We've got a lamb and mint oh, upside down, lamb and mint pie at the old dairy there. Four dollars for that, lamb and mint. Mucka two pies, mucka two. You can't have a mucka two pie, Rubber. Bad for you, bro. Mucka two pies. Bad for you. So we're going to have the mucka two pie. So I'm just looking at all the cockle shells here. Look, oh, cockles there. Cockle shells, rubber. Not too sure how uh, healthy those shellfish are, but they won't be as healthy as this pie, will they? Lamb and mint pie. Not for you. No way, bro. Right, let's have a taste test of this. Just finished uh, six uh, fish fingers and two eggs, but we'll try this. Hmm. So these are made here, make a two. And they're quite popular pies and I think they're quite tasty too. It's hot. You can taste the mint in it. It is actually quite nice. Let's see if we can taste some lamb now. Mmm. Yeah, it's nice. I said a nice big piece of lamb there. First time I've tried lamb and mint.
Yum, it's nice. Are we going to go now? No pie for you. Sorry guys, I can't give her any pie. This is not good for you. Okay, not good for dogs, pies. Got onions in it. <laughs> 